Hello, welcome to Economics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll deal with the commands split, separate, and snapshot. These are very useful commands. Let's begin with this main stata interface active is time. Press Ctrl 8 for activating data editor and Ctrl 9 for activating tool file. So the first command is split. This will split string variables into its parts. And let us see. First of all, let us create a variable. This is a string variable. Now let us split it using this command split all and generate spill. So this will split, this will take space as a parse and this will split it into separate variables. So we are going to get three variables out of it. Now let us drop anything that begins with a spill and try another variation of split. So split up, generate again spill and parse underscore. So parse underscore, this will take this age uh, point of separation and this will separate these variables into two parts before and after this parse. Let us drop this. It's anything that begins with a spill. Now again, a spill all, and we are going to take only the limit two. So two variables at maximum, and the parse is space again. So thank you, and all. Let us split, drop this, anything that begins with a spill. And here, we are going to again split it using the parse underscore and no trim so the leading trailing and in between middle spaces they will not be trimmed or in between spaces now let us drop anything that begins with a spill now let us use this command we will split it and we'll de string and we'll ignore the characters dollar and has so if we if we ignore the characters dollar and has then we'll be left with 100 so this variable after splitting this will again be a string variable so we want to de-string it this is a very simple very simple command so we we'll get this variable spill free is a numeric variable now let us go to our another example or another command it's called separate separate will create separate variables let us create an appropriate data set for this another variable we are going to create it gender we do have missing values now let us separate income based on gender so we'll have two variables so this is the income for zero is for male and one is for female 86 this is very useful command let me drop this now let me again separate by gender and we're going to generate pro so now the variables will begin with pro zero and pro one again the same case now let us drop pro anything that begins with pro and separate again income by gender gendered pro and missing we will create another variable for missing also and if you notice the variables will be named that will begin from zero one and so on so this variable pro underscore is for missing now let us drop pro and let us generate another variable this is going to be fun it is categorical variable while we and the fun while glee so these are three categories fun wow and glee now let us generate separate gender by fun and then let us generate pro and sort label so this will we are going to separate gender male and female by fun so we'll have wow male and female glee male and female and then phone male and female this is a very simple so pro zero it is for phone male so we'll have pro zero for phone male and female and wow pro one is for wow male and female and pro two is for glee male and female this is also a very useful command but if you notice the numbering they begin with zero so we can also manipulate that now let us drop if you sort this this will give you a very nice look now let me drop anything that begins with pro and then again we are going to separate the income by one and generate pro if we specify this option sequential you can notice the variables they begin in sequence one two three and this inclusion of this variable is due to specifying missing so this is the income of people according to their fund category so the first one category is for fun and the second one category is for wow and the third category is for glee 
Now let's move to our next command, snapshot. This will restore our data. It will take the snapshot of our data. So let us snapshot shape label d1. Let us take the snapshot of this data with these variables and save it by the name d1. So we label it by the name d1. So we took a snapshot. Now let us make certain changes. Drop this variable, generate a new variable, and let us take this data in the memory and take its snapshot and label it as d2. Now if you see, now we can list the what are the snapshots in our memory. So this is snapshot 1, d1, snapshot 2, d2. Now we can label them, change their label. So let us label this d1 by Sunday and let us label this d2 by Monday. And if we snapshot list, we will see this Sunday and Monday. Now if you want to restore your data, so let us restore a snapshot one and this is the snapshot one data if you remember it right and we can again restore the second snapshot we have named it as monday so this is our data you can take the snapshots 1000 snapshots and you can name it and you can use it now let us drop this let me snapshot areas one so we have it is the snapshot the first one now let us erase all the remaining snapshots and if you list the snapshots that will be empty now before we end our tutorial let us go to some of the other useful command if you write this cell you'll invoke the cmd command of window and you can type here if you type dear these are the values these are the folders and files and if you type exit this will exit let it take its time and let me exit this and you can invoke windows right you can open your notepad from here and you can even open your do file using this command win exec means win execute i guess this should be win execute and let us me let me execute or open this it's a do file interpolate mb input and percentile and let me again save this data save this data in the memory by this name jz.dta and let me run the t command and you will get this data zzdta now i have saved it in a usual ordinary way now let me invoke this window command sale and rename or manipulate that now i'm going to rename this data the mem in the memory or this current data by this name dear triple zero y let me see it in the dear you will see this changes triple zero y if you remember this, I, ha I have renamed this using this cell, I mean invoking the windows, okay. Now let me, so writing cell or writing exclamation sign is equivalent to invoking this. Let me check this. If I write exclamation sign and if I run this, you will get this window command. So let me exit this. So again, let me rename the file due to double Y by four x and let me see this now you see we have this four x and we don't have jzz over here because i we have renamed it let me clear this and then let now let us now use this data that we have saved and this is our data set now we can edit the two files as well by moving it and then you can erase this data let me erase this data now and let us check whether that works or not if i write run this command dear and you see you should not give the data that w x y and z we have only this we don't have our z z z or x x x data now let us clear this and try to see whether have we really raised this data so you want to say file x x x data not found so we have really erased this this is also a very useful command please take your time in understanding this thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics melody